welcome to Let's Talk Financials with Elizabeth Ann, where we talk your lifestyle, your money, and your budgeting without sacrificing fun. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to get in and out of your car with a broken ankle. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button and also that notification bell so that way you're alerted whenever I post a new video. Let's get started. Alrighty, step one. Once you get to your driver's side, go ahead and open the door. And then go ahead and place your crutches in your back seat. So now I want to show you how to get inside of your car. So go ahead and place your hand on the top of the car and also on the door handle. Now, the objective is to go ahead and put your injured leg onto your passenger side. Now we're going to show you um, by doing so now. Alrighty. Now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and bring my other foot in. There we go. And this is the point where you're going to go ahead and you know, scooch over a bit and then also adjust your leg on this side. Make sure you're not um, blocking your shift and also make sure you're not blocking your seat belt. This is a time where you're also going to try to move your seat so that way you can press on the brake and the gas as easy as possible. Especially when we're on the road, we want to avoid those accidents. So, if you have adjusted your seat, go ahead and adjust your rear view mirror and your side mirrors as well. So that way you're, you're able to get a good 360 view around. Now, I'm going to go ahead and close my door. I'm going to put on my seat belts. And I'm also double check everything to make sure my view isn't blocked. My foot is comfortable. I'm able to shift without my leg blocking it. And I'm also able to push on the brake and the gas without a problem. Now we're ready to go. So you've made it to your destination. Now it's time to get out. So we're gonna go ahead and take off of our seatbelt. We're gonna go ahead and open the door. You're gonna hold on to the door handle as well as the top of the car. And then also you're gonna go ahead and step out with the foot that's closest to the driver door. Now, the next part is sliding out. Make sure that you have your injured foot as straight as possible and make sure that you're looking directly at it so that way you don't bump it on the seat or the steering wheel as you're getting out. Because we want to avoid you know, re-injury upon exiting it. So you're going to do it like so. And slide. So now that you're out, we're going to, I'm going to show you two ways on how to get your crutches. Step one, we're going to do a hop. We are going to close the door and then we're going to kind of guide ourselves along our rear door, we're going to open, still holding on to the top of the car for that support, and then we're just going to grab our crutches. And then we're going to close it, and then we can go into our destination. We are going to step out with our foot that's closest to the door. But there's also two options on how to get your crutches. So I'm gonna show you the first option here, which is we're gonna reach back and grab them. Now, once you have them, go ahead and place them on the rear door. Now, you're gonna hold on to the top of the car as well as the door handle, and we're gonna slide out. Make sure that you're keeping your injured leg straight so that way uh, you don't you know, re-injure it. And we're sliding out. Well, that is all I have for you guys. Thank you for stopping by, and that is how you get in and out of your car with a broken ankle. 
If you're new to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button and also that notification bell so that way you're alerted whenever I post a new video. See you next time.